Hello, my name is Vox and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 44 of 2023, we had 97 tournaments with a total of 2,533 players and a massive 11,204 games played. This week, the Space Marines topped the charts with 18 wins and 58 top 3 placings. Their weighted pace is 27.8, which is a bit higher than the 19.3 they got last week. They did win more tournaments this time out, suggesting that there are even more Space Marine players than usual. This does make sense as we have over 1,000 more players this week. The Aldari come next with 15 wins and 29 top 3 placings. Their weighted pace of 12.4 is almost double the 6.7 they got last week. It is still the second best overall, and they do have the most wins from the larger tournaments. Chaos Space Marines get 9 wins and a weighted pace of 20.2. This is a slight increase for them, however they have won more tournaments overall and are back in the blue group. The Lisa Votan are the last faction in blue with 8 wins and a weighted pace of 11.1, .1, the best overall. Even though their weighted pace is slightly higher than the 8.2 they got last week, the Lisa Votan continue to demonstrate their impressive form. The Tau top the green group with 5 wins, 15 top 3s and a weighted pace of 24.4. Their weighted pace is much higher than the 11.1 .1 they got last time out. They do have nearly double the players this week, which would explain the difference. Guard improve on last week, also getting 5 wins and a weighted pace of 26. Sisters continue their good form in terms of weighted placing with 14.4, and their 5 wins has put them in the green group. The Grey Knights put in a good performance with 4 wins and a weighted pace of 22.8, which is much better than the single win they got last week. The Thousand Sons are the last faction in green, also getting 4 wins and a weighted pace of 13.8, the third best overall. They see a big improvement on the weighted pace of 42 they had last time. We see many of the same factions in yellow, although the Tyranids and Worldies in particular have dropped down considerably. The Tyranids struggle especially, with only 2 wins and a weighted pace of 88.5, which is much higher than the third best 10.8 they achieved last time. The World Eaters haven't fared quite as poorly, with a weighted pace of 20, compared to the 11.8 they got last week. 25 factions managed at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 202. Aldaria in second with 68 top 10 placings, followed by Chaos Space Marines in third with 60 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 19.74% of all players taking them. Aldaria the second most popular faction on 7.34%, followed by Chaos Space Marines in third on 7.19%. Like last time, the three most popular factions get the most top 10s in the same order as their popularity. It takes our resident stats guru and Ultramarine fanboy Fearless Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour with the key at the bottom of the screen. As Chaos Mix only had 3 players, the second most popular faction Eldari topped the charts with a win rate of 58.3%. They are back below a 60% win rate, if only by a small margin. They did win the biggest tournament this week, the 552 player, GT Talavera, which we will cover in our next tournament spotlight. The Lees of Votan come next with a win rate of 57.5%, a slight improvement on last week. They seem to be the only faction that are close to Eldari at the moment in terms of win rates, and continue to perform very well in terms of winning tournaments. The third most popular faction, Chaos Space Marines, are the first in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 53.2%. They have been consistently performing around this level for the last few weeks. Orcs and World Eaters come next, both getting a win rate of 52.9%. The World Eaters have dropped down slightly from their win rate of 57.6% they got last week, while the Orcs have improved on their 48%. The Thousand Suns have a win rate of 52.4%, to go with the third best weighted placing this week. They have seemingly recaptured some of their pre-nerf form. Chaos Knights are the last full faction in green, with a win rate of 50.3%. They have dropped back a little, but continue to get a win rate over 50%. There are more factions in green this week, with Sisters and Grey Knights topping the yellow group with 47.7%. The most popular faction Space Marines get a win rate of 46.5%, which is nearly a 1% increase on last week. It might not sound a lot, but considering there are nearly 200 more Space Marine players this time, it is actually a significant improvement. The Tau Empire are the last faction in the Goldilocks zone, with 45.2%, despite performing well in terms of winning tournaments. We see 8 full factions outside the Goldilocks zone, with factions such as Necrons, Admech, Gene Stealers and Custodes still struggling. There are three more factions below the zone this week, however, we don't have any factions below a 40% win rate. The Eldari remain at the top of the Leviathan Part 2 win rates with 58.6%. The Leaves of Votan have taken second place after consecutive weeks with a high win rate, they are now on 53.9%. Chaos Space Marines have dropped back into third with a win rate of 
The votes are now performing better on the weekly, which explains why they have overtaken them, but they are still slightly ahead of the factions below. The Alls get a win rate of 52.1%, making a slightly bigger gap to the World Eaters, who are on 51.9%. Chaos Knights have dropped back a little, but they are now on a win rate of 51.5%. I did suggest that the Chaos factions would overtake the Orcs, however, after a slight resurgence, they remain in 4th place. The Tower have dropped out of the Green Group with a win rate of 49.6%, with the most popular faction Space Marines on 46.4%. The third most popular faction Necrons are on a win rate of 46.1%, they have been losing popularity on the weekly rankings, with Chaos Space Marines most likely taking the third most popular spot in the next few weeks. There is one more faction outside the Goldilocks zone, with Astra Militarum just dropping below the line. If there was only a single Astral Claws player this week, the White Scars topped the win rates with 58.8%, although they only had four players. The second most popular chapter, the Black Templars, perhaps performed the best this week, as they have far more players and a win rate of 54.2%. This is a big improvement on the 47.5% they got last week, and they have over double the players. When compared to all factions, they have the third best win rate this week, suggesting the players are starting to find some strong Templar lists. The joint third most popular chapter, the Space Wolves, come next, with a win rate of 50.4%. The Raven Guard and two chapters with a single player are the last in green, all getting a 50% win rate. The other third most popular chapter, the Blood Angels, top the yellow group, with a win rate of 47%, with the Salamanders close behind on 46.6%. The Iron Hands are the last chapter in the Goldilocks zone, with a 46% win rate. The final third most popular chapter, the Ultramarines get a win rate of 41.7%, which is a big drop on the 50% win rate they got last week. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels fare slightly worse, with a win rate of 41.5%. We see more chapters in green this week, and the same number in the red group. Only the Death Watch and Imperial Fists have a decent number of players, they get a win rate of 39%, and 38.8% respectively. As expected, we do see some large changes in the win rates, with chapters like the White Scars going from a 7.1% win rate last week to 58.8% this week. Granted, they only have four players, but I think it is a good example of how much the win rates are changing since the Codex's release. Other chapters, such as the Tempals, have improved significantly as well, suggesting to me that players are starting to work out the best lists. The second most popular chapter, the Black Templars, topped the Leviathan Part 2 win rates with 52.7%. The Space Wolves topped the Yellow Group with a win rate of 48.9%. The Death Watch get a win rate of 47%, with the Iron Hands on a win rate of 46.7%. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, get a 45.9% win rate, followed by the Blood Angels on 45.8%. The Imperial Fists are the first chapter outside the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 43.8%. Fearless's favourite Blue Boys and the third most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, come next, with a win rate of 43.8%. The Raven Guard get a win rate of 43.7%, followed by the Salamanders on 42.7%. The White Scars have moved off the bottom, with a win rate of 35.1%. This week, the majority of the Chaos Base Marine Warbands are unknown, so we go straight into Leviathan so far. The Red Corsairs top the win rates with 65.3%, followed by the Alpha Legion with a win rate of 55.5%. The most popular Warband, the Black Legion are on 54.3%, followed by the Word Bearers on a win rate of 53.7%. The Night Lords are the last Legion in green, with a win rate of 51%. The Emperor's Children get a win rate of 48.9%, with the Iron Warriors on the bottom, with 45.9%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.